name's Christine. I'm the Education Specialist for Kids Gardening. And I'm here to talk to you today about a really amazing new resource we have called Digging Into Soil. It's an online curriculum aimed at high school students. It's compi comprised of 10 lessons that are all connected to next generation science standard standards. And it's all about soil um, being one of the most important resources in our garden. If you don't have really great soil, then it's hard to grow some good plants. And I want to take you through one of the lessons really quickly today. It's all about learning what type of soil you have and getting an idea for your soil profiles and your soil composition. So in this activity, it's really, really simple. You just dig up some soil from whatever place you want. It could be a garden bed. Uh, if you have in-ground beds, it could be just your ground. Right now, we're kind of outside more of a perennial bed. Um, but really, anywhere you are, just dig up some soil and you can add it to a ball jar or any sort of white or clear jar you might have. And then you're going to fill that with water. And once it's all filled with water, we're actually not going to do anything with that right now because you need to let it sit for a while. Uh, right now it just looks really murky and you can't really see much. But after you let it sit for about 24 hours, you're going to get something that looks like this. And if you were to look up close at this jar, you're going to see different kind of layers, um, almost like the walls of the Grand Canyon. And these different layers are showing us the different type of soil particles that exist in this soil that we have right here. So your bottom layer is going to be sand. Uh, those are the largest particles. You can almost imagine they're the size of a beach ball. Followed by that, you're going to get silt, about the size of a golf ball. And then on top, you're going to get clay, which is almost the size of a single dot. Um, and you're going to even have some clay particles floating up in the air over here. You can measure these different layers with a ruler. and those different measurements you can then convert into percentages. And using those percentages, uh, you can kind of come up with the type of soil you have by consulting a soil textural triangle, which is a really neat resource um, that I believe is available in our curriculum, but also just a quick Google search online, we'll find it, you'll find it. And you can really get kind of deep into what soil you have in your garden, and then you can figure out what amendments you might need to add to produce some really delicious vegetables or beautiful perennial plants. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at our Digging Into Soil resource. You can find it online on our website and we'd really appreciate if you left a $5 donation and checked it out.